Welcome to our channel. In this video, we will show you how you can create a multi step form with Contact Form 7. And in this video, we will show you, will show you with a free plugin. Um, so, let's get started. For, so, first of all, click Add New. And you need to write down Ultimate Add ons for Contact Form 7. So this is the one. So you install, you activate. So once you do that, you will see a requirement that Ultimate Addons requires Contact Form 7 to be installed. You click here and you click Contact Form 7. So that's it. Now let's uh, now you need to go to the Ultimate Addons tab and enable multi-step as you can see ultimate add-ons some have some other add-ons those we will cover on other videos this video is totally for how to create multi-step select multi-step now save changes now let's create a form so let's name it demo form and now let's click it save and add it on a page. Okay, so this is basically our form. Now let's go and make it multi step form. So suppose uh, these two will be on the first step and these two, these three will be on the second step. Okay. So for the first step, you need to click multi step start and you need to name it, for example, step one. So insert tag. And so this is the end of the first step. So you need to insert multi step end. And from here, we then we will start multi step step two, and we need to change the ID number. Insert now after the submit. Let's add multi step end. Once you do that, you need to click save. Then let's go to the multi step tab, and yes, it's, it's a multi step form. So, if you want to show the progress bar, you enable it. You can hide or show the labels of the progress bar. And here you can do some styles. So, these are everything. Uh, there are some posters. For example, you can change um, the button text and also upload image of the progress bar. Let's skip the pro version for now. Click save. Now, if we reload this page, so you can see that the form is now showing step one, step two. So let's test name, test at exit the form, click next. So you can see the second step is downloading. So you click subject, you write down. From here you can also go to the previous tab and you can also come to the next tab. And if you submit, so that's it. The form is all submitted. Now, if let's create another field. So let's say the subject field is in the second, and we add another step here. Step three, two, and let's add this end text element. When we save the form now should be three step. So as you can see now we have three step. So test name, test at examining, next tab is subject, next step is the message. Okay. So uh on the now if we change if we change this text, the step text, let's say the progress one. Now if we reload 
as you see the text has changed and there are some other options for example you can hide the provisional labels so if you click save so the labels are now gone and you can also disable the progress bar as well so now the progress bar is disabled and so and you can also change the some styles of the form and on the pro version as we previously said you can also change the text of the buttons so that's basically it let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you.